Hi everyone, quick video for you today. I get a lot of questions from some of you asking me about what happens to the car when I track it. Uh, what, is, what does the aftermath look like? Does the paint get any damage? Do, do the components suffer? Today I'm gonna come clear about everything. I'm gonna show you the aftermath of my latest track day and to see if this is of any concern to, to any of you. <laughs> Typically after a track day, you get these marks on your paint, which are essentially hot pieces of tire from the car that you're following that are hitting your paint. Now, when they hit your paint, they're hot, so obviously they leave a mark, but then they cool off right away and they leave this mark. Now, it's not only the car in front of you that kicks off the tire pieces, your own tires can do that. And actually, a lot of cars, especially when you have wider setups, kick off chunks from the front tire onto the side of the car. Now, I do have my custom-made mud flaps that protect me from doing so, so you can see this actually captures any, any tire chunks, but some get through, so you can see See that there's a chunk here and there's a chunk here on the white body, white body part of the car. Now, if I didn't have my mud flaps, this whole thing would be probably covered with uh, tire chunks. Now, I'm gonna wash the car in a little bit, but I just spot treated this area of the hood because it seems like it's gonna rain. But this is my proven method of removing these and at the same time protecting the paint. Check this out. So what you do is you grab your favorite wax. In my case, I'm using this one because this goes well with ceramic coating and you apply a good amount of wax to it and check this out with just a bit of wax everything comes off and the reason i love this method is because not only are you removing the tire marks we're also protecting the paint at the same time by applying a layer of wax In the back, you will notice that your exhaust tips, especially if they're silver, will start turning yellow. Stainless steel tips turn yellow when they're exposed to a lot of heat. Now, this can be remedied by using a metal polish, and I already did a video on it, but just keep in mind that if you have a set of your favorite tips, maybe it's not a good idea to track them, maybe swap them out for something that you don't necessarily care about. Tires are obviously the most consumable part of the track experience, and in this case, I'm running track-oriented tires. But it's easy to tell when a tire has been tracked by this outer mark. Usually during hard cornering, you wear out this outer edge. Now, track tires have harder outer edges, so it's harder to destroy it. If you are tracking daily or all-season tires, you will see a lot of damage on the side, which will not only look bad, but also can affect daily drivability and performance. Oh, and by the way, these are the tire chunks that I told you about, this is what scrapes from your actual tire and this is what hits your paint and leaves a mark. And usually you get a lot of these little chunks in the wheel well, which sometimes can cause a lot of wobble. So if you get a lot of vibration at the track, check your wheel wells and poke out all those tire chunks. Another highly consumable part are obviously your brake pads, your rotors, and even the calipers. In my case, I'm running track pads, and these pads actually took a lot of abuse, and they show little sign of wear. If you are running daily track pads at the track, the chances are at the end of a track day, you will simply melt them. Another thing that shows a lot of wear are obviously the rotors. Now, these rotors have about 25 track days or so. Yes, they do show signs of wear. They do show a lot of dust in the in the grooves, but they're still fine. The lip is not too big. Yes, that maybe they do not look the best. They show a lot of rust here. It's because of all the heat cycles that I've been putting them through, but they're perfectly fine and I'm gonna be using them till the end of the season. I think next year we'll probably uh, buy a set of new ones, but I will definitely go with OEM because these are super, super durable. But now we're gonna switch back to the stock pads and my daily spacers. So this is how it's done. And this is what a pad looks like after a couple of days of track driving. And this is the OEM track pad. The only difference you notice are these bells here. What they do is they help reduce vibrations and excess noise.
do not forget to torque the wheels. By the way, this torque wrench, fantastic. And we're back with the daily driven setup. So this is what it looks like. You look how much more clearance the calipers have. Well, you could easily tell how this color the calipers are. They used to be a lot brighter. Yeah, what are you gonna do? And here, let's take a look at the tires. So, so these are the rear tires, the 305s. And yes, you might think that there's not a lot of thread left, but this is how they're designed actually. Look how it's actually, they're actually pretty deep. These tires, usually the wear you see is on the outside, as I mentioned earlier. And this is what it is but the outside of this tire is constructed to withstand a lot of the abuse that you subjected to at the track so this is no big deal they went through a lot of heat cycles inside of the wheel it's pretty clean this one doesn't seem to have that many tire chunks actually there's there's a little one here and there's a little one there but uh but no big deal this is the front and by the way look at the difference this is the difference between 305 and 275 holy moly look at look at why the 305 is so again 305 275 275 looks tiny but when reality 275 is actually a very very wide tire and the remaining two they're sitting right over here they just need a good wash and i'm going to store them until the next track day the outside wear on this one is again nothing too big and the back one Again, nothing, nothing too, too crazy. I love these tires and those wheels. Now, on the inside, does the car sustain any damage? Really not. If your hands are sweaty and your steering wheel is made out of Alcantara, yes, this the Alcantara can, uh, can show a little wear and tear, but that's nothing that you cannot clean with just uh, some water and a nice clean rag. But other than that, the seats are designed to hug you in place, so you're not really sliding uh, around in them. And there's really no, no visible wear and tear inside of the car, so that's nothing you should be worried about. And of course it goes without saying they should always inspect the engine bay at the end of the track day but also in between sessions just to see if there are no leaks or uh, oil leaks uh, coolant leaks or anything like that in my case everything was super super solid the top cooler performed very very well i'm very happy about it so this is a very very solid platform now I showed you many times how I wash my car, but I never showed you how I wash my track wheels when they're off the car. And honestly, there's really nothing to it. So check this out. First thing I do, I spray the wheel, both inside, outside, and the face. Then I use a microfiber towel with some regular car soap, detergent, whichever you prefer. Wash the outside, wash the inside. Get in between all the grooves. Now this is the most fun part when the wheels are off. You flip them on the inside. Oh, this is so rewarding. I don't know what it is about this, but just being able to wash the barrels feels so rewarding. And that's it. And we're done. The wheels are drying, the car needs to be washed, but it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna do it this afternoon. But this goes to show you that the aftermath of a track day is not all that bad. Yes, you have to put in a lot of sweat equity to do the brake pads, change, swap the wheels, remove any stains you can have of, on the paint. But once you do that, you can bring the car back to its daily dry, driven status and enjoy it between track days. So. Don't let the fear of damaging your car stop you from enjoying it at the track because having the car at the track is the best, an absolute best experience you can have with your car. And it's the safest way to go fast and be aggressive and see what the car can really do and see how weak your driving skills are compared to what the car can handle. Anyways, let me know what you thought of this video. Comment below if you have any questions, comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.